Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you this tab on GitHub, GitHub Actions. It has a lot of possibilities, but what I want to demonstrate to you is how to run automated tests whenever someone makes a pull request to your main branch. This is the most typical scenario for deployment. It's very individual how different teams deploy their code, but the most typical one is someone works on develop branch, for example, or whatever is the branch name. And then whenever they're ready with the feature, they make a pull request to the main or master branch and then someone else merges the request and makes the release. So at this point, wouldn't it be cool that when someone makes pull request, then GitHub would automatically check if it's okay without any human interaction. And GitHub actions allow you to do that. One of the actions is run PHP unit test automatically. And if you haven't tried it, it's much easier to set up than you think. There are a few articles pretty recently Laravel News released Laravel GitHub Actions, which has an example from Kirschbaum development with their Docker containers and a procedure with a few steps explaining what is what. And also there's an older article by Freck from Spati using GitHub Actions to run the tests. And both articles are quite deep and you can read them and I will link them in the description below. But I will demonstrate to you the most simple way. So imagine a very simple Laravel project, just the default Laravel new project, which has a few example automated tests. So if you run PHP Artisan test, it has two tests, which both pass. Or if you run vendor bin PHP unit, success, right? So let's imagine the scenario that I break something in the develop branch, then I submit a pull request and GitHub will tell me if it's good or bad. For that, we set up GitHub action. We go into actions, then there is a suggested workflow. So GitHub automatically detects that it's a Laravel project. And if it doesn't detect that, you can find that workflow somewhere below among the typical workflows or find it with a search. And all you need to do is click set up this workflow. Then it generates YML file and you can take a look what's inside. It's actually preparing a virtual server for us with PHP version, in my case, 8.0, then does everything needed for Laravel. So ENV file, composer, install key, generate permissions, creating the database SQLite in this case, and executes the tests, vendor bin PHP unit. So you don't change anything. It creates the file .github workflows Laravel YML, start commit, create Laravel YML, and then look what happens. We get back to the repository and see this icon. It's already doing the check, starting the job. So that's automated workflow, GitHub action, success, uh, executing test. Yep, it's all completed. So I didn't even look at the details. So it's completed the job. And that's it. You've successfully set up your GitHub action for PHP unit tests. Let's repeat that again, but with a real life scenario from the branches, as I told you. So in my project, the example test just checks if the home page returns 200. Let's intentionally break that. Let's change that route get to welcome, for example. So there will be no home page. So I push that change to develop branch now. And if we go to the repository, it will show that develop has recent pushes. And if we create a pull request, able to merge, so no conflicts, we create a pull request and now see what happens. In a few seconds, the automated testing will start. Queued at first, there is a queue, and then in a few seconds, it should start running. Yep, in progress, it should take roughly 10 seconds or 15 seconds for very simple tests just to set up the PHP and all the environment. So we will wait a bit and we will have the details here and the details should say that it failed. Yep, so 14 seconds, failing after 14 seconds. And you can set up that the repository owner would get an email if the test has failed, and you can check the details. The details will list all the jobs, and execute test has a failure of expected 200, but received 404, which was exactly what I wanted to demonstrate to you. So if you want your deployments to get more reliable, I do advise to set up GitHub Actions because it's that easy. Of course, that GitHub Action, the default GitHub Action, simplifies a lot of things and you can configure a lot in that YML file. So run MySQL instead of SQLite, for example, or run different PHP version. And for those configurable parameters, you can read those two articles that I will link in the description below. And final question, is it free? Yes and no. By default, it is free. So if we go to GitHub pricing, it is free for public repositories in any plan on GitHub. But if you have private repository, 
on free plan it's 2000 automation minutes per month so depending on how much time it took to run your actions it's calculating and rounds up the minutes on the team plan it's 3000 automation minutes and on enterprise plan it's 50,000 automation minutes, which is quite a lot, to be honest. So I would kind of count that as almost free feature. And also as kind of a side note, there is a feature in our quick admin panel generator for admin panels. We can push to GitHub. So whenever you do the change in your admin panel, you can push to GitHub, you choose the repository, and we will create a branch in your repository with the latest code, which you would then be able to pull request. And then if you set up Laravel actions, they would show you automatically if the tests were successful or not. So this is just one of the features of our quickadminpanel.com. And if you want to generate the admin panel, you can check that out. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.